welcome to this Easy 11 Plus short lesson on pricing graphs. It's a really common exam topic, and once you've done one of these questions, you can do pretty much any of them. This is a pricing graph that shows how much it costs in total to order a certain number of business cards from Megaprint. And you can see that along the bottom, we've got the number of cards ordered, and up the side, we have the cost for ordering that number of cards. And we've got a line that goes up here, which shows the relationship between the two axes, the number of cards axis and the total cost axis. The first question here asks us to write down the total cost of having 100 cards printed. So that's a kind of warm up question. We can see that 100 cards are here. So we work our way up to the line here and we go across to find that the total cost is five, six, seven pounds. We should check that that works, that each line is indeed a whole pound. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yes, that works. Each line up the side here is worth a pound. So this takes us to seven pounds. Andy's order costs him 16 pounds. Write down the number of cards he ordered. So now we're working in the other direction. We're starting from the price, which is 16 pounds on the price axis. We're going across to the line and we're going down to the number of cards. So if you spend 16 pounds in total, you're going to get 400 cards. Nice and straightforward. These are kind of warm up questions to get you used to using the graph. If 200 cards are ordered using the total cost, what is the cost of one card? So we need to find the total cost of 200 cards first of all. Then we need to divide that by 200 to get the cost of one card, if that makes sense. But let's just start off by finding the total cost and then the rest should become clear. So 200 cards, we're looking here and we need to go up until we meet the line which is here and we go across and the total cost is 10 pounds. So the total cost of 200 cards is 10 pounds. And to find the cost of one card, we need to divide that by the number of cards, which is 200. So it's 10 divided by 200. But if you look at the answer space, you can see they want an answer in pence. So it might be easier to start off by working in pence. 10 pounds is, of course, there are 100 pence in a pound, so we times by 100, which means adding two zeros. Honestly, that is a zero at the end, not a strange spirally six. So we got 1,000 divided by 200. We can cancel noughts, naught, 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 naught. We got 10 divided by two equals five. So the cost of one card in an order of 200, so the average cost, the mean cost, is five pence. Write down the fixed cost that Megaprint charge for each order, regardless of the number of cards ordered. So if you buy one card or if you buy one million cards, you still have to pay this fixed cost. Let's have a look at the chart and see how we can interpret it. So if we imagine buying a really small number of cards down here somewhere, you can see that it ends up at the four pounds mark. So in other words, they start by charging you four pounds and then they charge you a bit extra for every further card that you order. And looking at this graph, in theory, even if you order zero cards, you still have to pay four pounds. Of course, that isn't the real world, but it is what this chart implies to us. And that gives us our answer. So the fixed cost is four pounds. By the way, it's worth noting that when you get a phrase like write down, that's an indication that there isn't any working out that you need to do here. You just need to find out the answer and then stick it in the answer space. E, if you exclude, so that means leave out the fixed cost, how much is charged for one card to be printed? So we look at the chart here and we can see if we go to one card and ah, that doesn't really work, does it? Because how can we find out what's exactly one hundredth of the way between there and there. It isn't going to happen. Let's clear a bit of space by doing some deleting. So we've got room to work with. So we can't find out the cost of one card, but we can find out the cost of 100 cards, which in fact, if we go here, is seven pounds. So we spend seven pounds on 100 cards, but four pounds of that is the fixed cost. So let's go back to our working space. So for 100 cards, let's write that as a note. You could pick 200 or 500, but 100 is a nice, easy number to work with. So with 100 cards, total cost of 
seven, that's my pound sign, honestly, minus the fixed cost of four pounds gives us three pounds that you spend actually on the cards per card. Divide that by 100, so three pounds divided by 100. Again, let's work in pence. So rather than three, we'll say 300. Cancel these zeros, cancel these zeros, and we're left with three divided by one, which is, of course, three. So the answer is three. In other words, for each order, you're charged four pounds plus three pence per card. Maxi card also make business cards, but they charge a fixed cost of six pounds for an order, and the total cost of 500 cards is 16 pounds. We need to mark two points on the graph and then join them with a straight line to reflect this. So the fixed cost of six pounds is there. So even for the tiniest number of cards, even for a quarter of a card, you still have to pay a six pound fixed cost. And then for 500 cards, which is over here, we're going to be paying 16 pounds, which takes us to there. So we've got two points here, and now we need to join them together nice and neatly. This is my first ever time trying to use a ruler with my tablet. Let's see what happens. What happens is that the surface is slippery and I can't really hold it straight. So that's a little bit of a wobbly line, but it's better than just drawing it freehand. So that's our answer to that. Let's go back and look at the next question. Using the graph, or otherwise, work out the number of cards for which the total cost would be the same from both companies. So where would the cost be the same for the two companies? Here's the first company that we were looking at, the this line here, that is Megaprint. And then the next company we're looking at, which is MaxiCard, this is their line here. So where do these two lines show the cost being the same? Well, let's use our common sense here. It's where the lines show the same values, which happens down here. And we can zoom in on that, try and get a better view. And we can see actually that even with my wobbly line, they're pretty clearly overlapping at this point. Zoom back out again. And that is 200 cards for £10. So the number of cards would be 200. But I'm really intrigued by the or otherwise part of this question. Is there another interesting way that we can solve this? Yes, there is. And if you want to find out how, click here, where there's a really short video that shows you step by step exactly how to answer this question. Have a click now and have a watch.